When I wrote the the way, I in my guitar, it's a 1951 Martin guitar, and I have it on my knee, and I'm looking at it, and I'm trying to think of what to write about, and I l look in the sound hole on it, and it says Nazareth. I thought. All right, and I used this in the first, I pulled into Nazareth. It's the first line in the song. I pulled into Nazareth, I was a feeling about half past dead. I just need to find a place where I can lay my head. Hey, mister, can you tell me where a man might find a bed? He just grinned and shook my hand. I know it's all he said. So I'm sitting down to write this song, and there was a place in New York ca called Gotham Books on 47th Street. And in there, you could buy the scripts for tons of movies. And I was going through a phase right at that time for Louis Boonwell. In these scripts and in these movies, there's a theme in there that it almost implies the impossibility of sainthood, of trying to do good. You think, there's not that many saints. You know, there must be something difficult about that. And the theme in his films are these people tr doing good things and really being tormented for trying to do a good thing. And you can take a load off, baby. Take a load for free. Take a load off, baby. And you put the load you right the load on me. And I am writing about somebody who's on a mission and somebody has said, listen, if you're going over here, while you're there, would you do me a favor? And so he is doing what's asked of him in his kindness and generosity. He's trying to do something. And everything turns into a situation for him. So it's kind of a, a theme that I was inspired by this Boonwell stuff, right? And where movies and music are coming together for me in some dream that I've had. Crazy Chester followed me and he caught me in the fog. He said, I will fix your rack if you just take Jack my dog. I said, wait a minute, Chester, you know I'm a piece of man. He said, that's okay, boy, won't you feed him when you can? Yeah, yeah, take a load off, baby. And also, when I was 16 years old, I went from Canada down to the Mississippi Delta to join Ronnie Hawkins and the Hawks. I was going to the fountainhead of rock and roll. This is where blues, mountain music, rhythm and blues, funk, everything. This is where rock and roll was born, where it grew out of the ground. I'm going to the Holy Land. And it made such an impression on me, because I'm 16 years old, that all of the names of places and characters and just the, the rhythm of the whole landscape and of the Mississippi River, all of it goes and it washes over me. And all of these things get stored somewhere back in my dream compartment. Now it's time for me in 1967 to really write songs. And so I unlock this door up into my attic and it comes out and it becomes a song like The Wait. Levon was the only guy from the South. Every, all the rest were Canadians and this music became what's called Americana. And we we're like, isn't that weird? It's called Americana. Isn't it 
you're kind of like North Americana. <laughs> you know, isn't that really the truth, you know?